Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Um, today I have a brand new AutoMade Vanla BR2 flugelhorn. Um, this is the first flugelhorn for me and so I'm very excited. Um, now, there really aren't any places um, or shops in Korea where I can try all the different models out there. So I basically had to buy it blind um, and had to do a lot of research on the internet. Um, I've actually been through a lot, um, even before thinking of buying a flugelhorn. Um, but uh, when I did, uh, I was thinking of buying one of the top of the line, top of the line models like um, Oiram, for example, um, because I've been saving for like half a year for this next big purchase. Um, but anyways, um, and it came to, uh, it just came down to buying a flugelhorn at the end and. Now, having decided, one thing that worried me um, was how the flugelhorns actually um, sounded and they felt. Um, you'll, you'll know this if you, if you try it like me, but um, when I actually had my hands on a flugel, um, to me, many of the times they were too dark um, or fuzzy or muddy, if I should say. Um, so. You know, I just wanted to avoid that. So again, I just had to do more and more research and I came down to this model basically because um, this was the only model um, that had me liking literally all uh, the sound samples that I could find. Uh, so um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm having great expectations. And As usual, you can see these um, uh, green and white um, headings, if I should say, the shock observers. And there's the, there's the invoice. Let's turn it upside down. Let's see. Please. Okay. And... See it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Look at this. So, um, obviously, um, they don't they don't provide you with um, a case. Uh, so. I don't know. To me, um, I didn't need a case right away because I have like a triple, uh, triple bag, so I could handle it. So I just got the horn just by itself. But um, if you need yours, uh, go and um, get it ready. And wow! Oh look! Oh nice! Finally, okay. Let's, let's see. Oh, it's kind of a, it's like a velvety um, bag. And inside, it's covered uh, with some paper. Oh wow, look at the, oh, look at the color. Woo! Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. Um, nice, nice. Um, wow, look at that. Um, ooh, ooh. Just look at that. Uh, here, a little more up close. Isn't that lovely? Um, wow, I'm actually amazed because um, I did, when this was in production stage, um, I did email um, the Van La company if I could have it finished um, in the matte or satin finish with, wow, look at that. 
with a with a glossy um, inner bell. And um, they said I can have it with like brushed lacquer. And then uh, to which I applied. No, sorry, I I'm not a big fan of brushed lacquer, so it's all right. Just give me the standard finish, which is just a raw, I guess, polished raw brass. But um, well, they did it. Oh wow, at no extra cost. Thank you, thank you. I'm really, really super amazed about the look of it. Wow, just look at the color. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my god. Well, um, and um, you know, just for some extra information, um, and um, smallest um, picket brass six FL S. I don't know, it just feels so different uh, from a trumpet. I... Well, if it's still a bit loud, um, I'll just turn it down a little more. I hope that's better. Definitely darker. Um, <laughs> Flip Oaks Extreme Piece um, X7.
<laughs> good. So um, there you go. Um, hopefully uh, I don't know. Um, uh, hopefully um, in a few weeks, I guess. Um, once I get used to it a little more and practice a bit, um, I try to have uh, a music recorded with this and see you guys on the next one. Um, okay, that's it for today. Thank you guys. Bye.